Hey there, thanks for tuning in to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week, where we ask a panel of experts questions you want answers to. And the question this week is, historically in the fourth quarter, we usually see a slowdown in real estate activity. What do you think will happen? Let's see what the experts have to say. Well, actually, I think seasonality is back. Yeah. Uh, we've actually saw a slowdown at the end of August and into September, which is normal when you know people take their last uh, summer vacations and then everybody get their kids and stuff prepped to go back to school. So that's usually when we see a, a kind of a drastic little pause in the market as we come out of that very busy summer season. And so, uh, and then we're starting to see it pick back up, which it normally does at the end of uh, September as we get into the, uh, the, the fourth quarter. Um, and then it just kind of cruises, you know, at a uh, much slower pace than what we've seen for the rest of the year. And I expect that to happen um, this year. We didn't have that last year, but I expect that to happen this year because we see it coming back already. Um, the good thing is right now, since we've, we've had such a large spike in prices in the, uh, the first six months of the year, the other thing that we're seeing is everything, the prices are kind of hanging out and staying flat. So appreciation is pretty much about flat for the last couple months. And I think that'll probably continue to, to, through the end of the year as well. So where, let's start with kind of where we are. So active inventory right now is at 3,500 active listings in, in the multiple listing service, which is historically incredibly low. In a normal balanced market, we typically see about 10,000 listings, active listings on mm -hmm. the market. So very, very low inventory. In July of this year, home prices peaked, the median home price peaked at $750,000. At the end of August, that, that price had dropped down to $730,000. So in the last 30 days, however, we've seen that, that median price bump up by $3,000. So we've got a very low inventory situation, right? Mm -hmm. And as people go into the, the holiday season, um, we see there may be some reluctance to put your home on the market in the holiday season, so we may see fewer listings. And with fewer listings, we've still got a ton of buyers out there that are going to continue to push, put upward pressure on prices. So t historically, we'll see uh, home prices rise and, uh, and then start to fall from August through December. We'll also see inventory going, going lower as well. So we can probably expect that this year like we have in years past. For those people who are thinking about selling a home, now may be a great time because you've got very little competition very and little. a lot of buyers still in the market they don't care about the holidays and moving they just want to get into into their first place before prices start to rise again next year right and like you said the fourth quarter is approaching real soon just around the corner and last night we had a phone call we just purchased our home still unpacking in my home and somebody wants to buy it as is and i'm mm -hmm. like um well, i appreciate the call <laughs> And that just goes to show you that the inventory is so low, there's nothing to be had. Exactly. So they're knocking on your door now. Exactly. Exactly. Crazy. And a lot of uh, what we see in the real estate industry, it's ad it's kind of attitude, right? I see a lot of agents at this time of year just kind of go, okay, well, things are going to slow down. I'm going to give up and we're just going to hang out. And me and, and the American Dreams team, we don't look at it that way at all. This is, this is the time to go on, on the offensive and help people sell their homes if they need to sell them or help them compete if they're, in, if they're the buyers that we're representing as well. So we look at it as, hey, we're going to work in, at this time of year, so. Um, historically, this is the slower quarter of the year. People are getting ready for the holidays and so forth. That didn't happen last year because, you know, with the pandemic, people weren't traveling or anything, so people were still buying. I think we're still gonna see a lot of that. I don't think we're gonna see a huge slowdown um, compared to where we are today. Today is a little bit slower than it was a few months ago. It has slowed down a little bit. Right. I'm seeing the activity in my listings slow down a little bit, but they're still selling. Uh, they're just taking a little bit longer to sell. I think interest rates will still stay low. Um, so I think that we're gonna still see similar levels of activity in, a, in the next couple months as we're seeing right now. I don't expect there to be a really big drop. Um, again, seasonally, we sometimes do, but I don't think we'll see the same seasonality as we usually do. It'll th I think it'll be more like it was last year than historically. Well, May, with that question, you're assuming this is a normal year, and we all know this is not a normal year. Right. And uh, it's not the problem with sell buyers, we just the problem is inventory and listings, right? So 2020 was a terrible year for uh, listings coming on because with COVID and everything, people were hesitant to put their houses on the market and 2021 was a little bit of a rebound, but not much. Right. So, but what's happening right now is 
there's a few more houses coming on the inventory, which is going to be really good to bring some buyers back in. Because buyers were really spooked by the fray that was going on in the summer where there's multiple offers getting bid up, multiple, you know, way above list price. So now some of these buyers are taking a deep breath and coming back in as inventory is coming up a little bit. It's still not to the levels of 2017, 18, 19, but the inventory is a little bit better than it's coming on. New ones coming on a little bit better than 2020. Okay. So I think it's going to be a good year, a good fourth quarter, better than usual. Okay. I think this year we are seeing the slowdown already. It's the opposite of last year where COVID stopped everything and things start picking up um, in June and July and August. So we didn't slow down last year, but this year I think we are slowing down already. Um, and it's like every year um, until January things are going to start picking up. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, Still, we have a lot of showings, a lot of interest, but a lot of people on the fence just trying to test the market and see what's going to happen. So I think we're already seeing a bit of a slowdown. I wouldn't necessarily say, though, that it's a slowdown, right. more a return to a bit of a normal market. I really feel like that's what we're experiencing. Um, but due to the low inventory, it's still a very strong seller's market. So I hesitate with the slowdown right. because I really don't feel that. Especially here in San Diego. Exactly. Right. Right. It's still hot. You may have a few more houses sit for a little bit longer on the market, mm -hmm. but I don't think they're sitting very long. No, it's I just, would agree. It's just not the norm where you're having 12 to 15 offers and it's going like that, mm -hmm. but it's very close too, right? Exactly. Rather than 12 offers, we're seeing four or five. Right. Or Which is still right? insane. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. Okay, so, so you really... Looking forward to the fourth quarter, really, I, I don't anticipate too much of a change other than the traditional lull from the, the holidays that we experience every it's year normal. when families, you know, turn to celebrations and focus on, you know, things closer to home. Um, but other than that, I really think it will continue to be a strong seller's market through the end of the year. I have to say that I think that there will be a slowdown at certain price points. I believe that in your entry level, buyers that are anywhere between um, 450 to 600,000 is going to continue to be hot all the way through okay. because there's more demand for uh, available housing than there is actually supply. So in that particular price point, it will not slow down. However, as buyers are getting into their second purchases and going to the houses that are anywhere between 800,000 to 1.2 million, you will see a slowing down. Okay, oh, that's interesting to know. So it's all about price point right now in the San Diego market. Price point right. and affordability. And, and when we say slow down, I know it's not really gonna be a true slowdown, is it? I mean, we're gonna go from like 12 offers maybe on a home to five offers on a home. It's, I think the market's still gonna be super hot. The market is very hot, even yes. in, you know, we're, 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 we're nudging almost on the, the beginning of uh, Q4, and um, it's still very hot. It's a mixture. It's a mix, uh, mixed feelings and mixed information that we're getting. Uh, typically, again, right now with our listings, we're listing them, and now we're not getting as many offers as we used to. We've had 20 offers, 15 offers. Now we're getting four or five, signaling a potential slowdown, which kind of reacts to the holidays and all that. Uh, but one thing that, that uh, is in the radar is China. China is going through a situation right now with uh, one of its biggest development developers. They're called Evergrande. Okay. And they are defaulting on their loans, on their, on their um, the loans that they have uh, worldwide. And that is making everybody very nervous. China has been the real, and again, I'm not an economist, but China, of course, is very strong. It's a potential now uh, within the world, and uh, their economic power just covers the rest of the world. What would that affect if they don't pay that loan? What are the ripple effects that we could see here in San Diego? Um, I've heard from other lenders that if that happens, that could cause some inflation. Uh, we depend on China a lot. Uh, but at the same time, it would, it would force the loan rates, the mortgage loan rates, further down, even down to 2% high ones, uh, which I guess would be good for the buyers because it would, it would, the, the affordability index would be larger. But what else could happen in the meantime? I don't, I, you know, I don't know, and right. I should leave that to the, to the uh, economists in, in the city.
Yeah, um, I personally don't see a slowdown coming our way. I mean, there's still multiple offers on every property. Um, the time that the properties are lasting in the market is still very short compared right. to what we've seen in past years. Um, last year, in during 2020, during the holiday season, we were still in the middle of COVID. Instead of seeing a slowdown, we saw an increase and in demand, uh, low inventory also helped with that. So. I definitely don't think that the holiday season or the fourth quarter is going to affect the real estate, mar the real estate market in any way. Right. Um, Great. No, I don't think so yeah. either. It's very interesting. <laughs> it is. It'll be, it I'm is. curious to see how it's going to all work out. I wish we all had this crystal ball, but uh, yeah. it's not going to change drastically in San Diego. No, it's not. No. It's definitely not. The demand just keeps going up. You know, we have so many people moving in from out of state, from different cities in California. So that only helps the market keep getting stronger. Really think this year may be a little different from years past. We, of course, have seen a little slowdown already in our market. And I don't really think that's because uh, the market's dying. I think that's because some of our buyers can no longer afford to buy at the price point that we're headed into. As far as the market slowing down, right now we're seeing more inventory coming on the market. And we still have a real shortage of homes. I mean, builders are still building. And there are so many people signed up for like these new homes. So I think that also transcends over into resale. So I, I do believe in my personal opinion is that I think our market is still going to be hot because buyers are going to want to take advantage of our lower interest rates. As I'm sure most people already know that uh, the Fed the Federal Reserve, <clears throat> excuse me, the Federal Reserve, that is, is already planning on raising interest rates. And it probably will be either first or second quarter of next year. And if that happens, we could definitely possibly see maybe a slowdown. We've never typically slowed down. No. Yeah, yeah it's, San Diego is a destination. People want to move here. Um, the the fourth quarter generally is still very busy for us. Right. We're not seeing, we're seeing a little bit of a, a leveling off on prices, and, but still multiple offers are still coming in. It's still busy out there. It's a great time to buy and sell. Right now you have such low rates, it's much easier to qualify to get in to buy something. So with a lot of the parents being able to refinance, get a lower rate on a refinance and help their kids get into a new home, a lot of millennials are able to actually buy now. And so it's still going. I don't see the market just stopping slowing down a whole lot it's right. going to slow some but i don't see it going down right yeah. with the opportunities that are out there right now for everybody oh that's great yeah. that's great insight so we're going nowhere anytime soon really mm, no no, no. Really. It's, it's, it's always going to keep going isn't it crazy it's a destination so oh well, you're right want to be here you're yeah right. we're seeing a lot of a lot of Californians are moving out of California, but they're going to states, other states, Texas, Tennessee, and whatnot. But they're bringing their money, buying, paying good money for houses out there. And then those people are also coming here. We're it's seeing this rotating. big yeah. rotation yeah. coming in and out of California. Yep. And there's still no inventory. It's low inventory. It's, that was a wealth of information. Check us out again next week to hear what the experts have to say.